here is some more lymphoid tissue, as you could see. In fact, it appears to be an actual organ because you could see a fibrous capsule composed chiefly of fibroblasts and collagen at the periphery. And then you could see all these lymphoid follicles. And they are secondary follicles because they have germinal centers on the inside and darker lymphocytes on the outside. And it looks like it's primarily a lymphocytic organ. But let's say that you cut through this organ grossly. So forget about the microscopic staining for now. These lymphoid areas would look white because lymphoid tissue, like in a lymph node, looks white. And the areas between the lymphoid follicles, because they appear to be rich in venous sinuses, would appear red. So that is how the name red pulp and white pulp got its name when you look at the spleen. And this is a spleen. You can see that these white pulp areas are the lymphoid areas, the red pipe pulp areas are between the lymphoid areas. And just to use to make a, uh, it very simple, it's about a 50-50 ratio. Uh, if a spleen is enlarged, it could be enlarged because of the red pulp, like if there was a lot of congestion within the spleen, or it could be enlarged because of the white pulp, because perhaps there was some process of infection causing these lymphoid areas to um, hyperplase or increase in cells, or perhaps proliferate because of a neoplastic process such as a lymphoma. So it's very, very nice to get a feel for red pulp and white pulp. Let's identify a few more classical areas in the spleen. We've already seen the nice fibrous capsule. We could see that there are also extensions of fibrous tissue within the spleen which are called uh, trabeculae, which look very much like the capsule in that they have uh, spindly cells, predominantly fibroblasts, as well as collagen, just like what you see here in the spleen. Here is a secondary follicle with a germinal center on the inside. And here are, is the area of white pulp, which is predominantly sinusoids. What are the various types of cells we could see in the spleen? Well, we could see lymphocytes, that's the number one cell. We could see plasma cells, which are similar to lymphocytes. We could see macrophages, also called histiocytes. We could see granulocytes. We can see uh, reticular cells because they produce the reticular fibers, like we said, was in all lymphoid organs. We could see blood vessels. We could see um, any type of cell in the peripheral smear because all of the cells which are in the blood eventually get chewed up and die and recycled in the spleen. And that's the main function of the spleen. But there's another structure I want to point out here. It looks like a lymphoid follicle, but in the center, there's a fairly thick walled blood vessel. This is called a central artery and they, it's because they run in the center of these lymphoid areas. And another uh, critical area I would like to point out in the red pulp, if we can go up one more power here, are the sinusoids. And I wish I could actually put my finger on a sinusoid and tell you this is a sinusoid, but actually almost all of these light, very poorly delineated spaces here are sinusoid. And here you can see a larger blood vessel but most of the uh, vascular pattern within the spleen are these open sinusoids, in, which is not a perfectly continuously endothelial lined area. And because all of the cells of the red and the white series are being chewed up, often you could see cells that have this little pigment in them, which is the hemosiderin from the breakdown of red cells. Otherwise, if we could, actually go into the sinusoid areas, we would see uh, an abundant amount of macrophages chewing up the old cells. We would see a lot of reticulin fibers. We would see degenerating, dying, decomposing uh, blood cells of all types. We would see reticulin cells, if I haven't said that already. We would see dying platelets. We would see everything you could imagine. Um, 
And this is a classical appearance for a spleen. And I'll ask you this question again. Now that we have gone through all these structures, is there anything on here that you couldn't identify if you had to? No, because we've identified everything. Capsule, red pulp and everything associated with it, trabeculae, central arteries. I'm sorry, this is white pulp. The rest of this is red pulp. The sinusoids within the red pulp and all of the various types of cells that are doing their job within the spleen. And I thank you very much.